Hello guys, welcome to the uh, RI Sports Heritage Channel. I hope you are doing well. Today, I'm going to show you six podiums of Benny M. Germain in 2023. Even though he had a lot of obstacles, he did a great job. Before I start, please subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get the latest notification. One on the 26th of January, 2023, Trofea sees Alcudia, Spain. He finished third. We look at it right inside. Still, you can see Turnison now taking up. First turn here inside the last kilometer now. And we're approaching the sprint on the second day of racing in Mallorca. Wet roads, plenty of nerves, but some big names ready to go. Giedemeyer now being brought up on the left-hand side. Last year's winner, Mike Turnesser, is there to do the job for him. Marijn von der Berg is dropped off by Owen Dool. Von der Berg is there. Left-hand side, we've got to move from one of the riders now from UAE Emirates. A couple of riders also in there for El Scaltel. A couple of riders there too for Bora Hanskra. It's a right old mix of riders that have to be racing for almost four hours. Final couple of turns to come in here. It's twisty, it's turny. It's wet through on the road as well. And the positioning is so, so hard to make. Uphill we come. Fonenberg is following. It's a really big effort this. Final turn now won by Fonenberg himself. Vernon is up there as well. This is anybody's race as Binyam Gomai tries to get in and it's Marijn Fonenberg who's there to the finish to win for EF Education Easy Post. However, no problem for Marijn Fonenberg. He was there. He's the winner. He's beaten Ethan Vernon and Binyam Gomai. Alex Two on the 29th of January 2023. Trofea Palma in Spain. He finished second. This point after the turn. Tim Wellers at the front for UA Emirates. Bobby Starr are going about their business well. We've empowered health with riders in there. Now Kispa Oscar moves up on the left hand side as we look at it. Dan McClay is there as well. And there we go, one lap to go, confirmation, one lap to go, three and a half kilometers to the end of this race. The Eritrean star in the position, Arkea Samsic on the left hand side also trying to move up, but we know that uh, Nasser Buani is out there, we look at McClay or Decker here, McClay a former winner of this race as well. We're approaching 1.5 kilometers to go now, and the red jerseys with those blue accents this year of Lotto Destiny move, one more man is gone, and it's now to the next man for Sudal Quickstep. As we look at it now from Antamarche, try to put in their main man who is Biniam Girmaya. Reminder that it's the left-hand turn that will come up, the left-hand turn that's going to be key. If you win that battle, there's a great chance you can win this race. But the man trying to drop off Girmaya hasn't dropped him off in the right place fully. Coming up to the final 500 metres now. Can you be in that right position? Sudal quick step with that battle won. And here we go, well inside the final 500 metres now. Sudal quick step who came here the other day looking for wins each and every day. They've had Alaphilippe on the road. They've had Vernon on the podium. And it's Vernon who's going to be led out now by their main man from Italy, Davide Ballerini. On the right, you can see that Marvi Star are launching things. Ballerini goes, Girmay sits on the wheel now. Of Ethan Vernon and it's Ivan Garcia Cortina is out there as well but Ethan Vernon hits the front and Ethan Vernon going all the way Ethan Vernon with the line in front of him but Gilmai's coming around it's Vernon though who has it against the Eritrean Ethan Vernon, Biniam Girmai and also up there was he going for it every day this week Sudal Quickstep do everything perfectly right and have their award that was perfect Far back in, in, in my reckoning here but he comes out this corner with uh, with good speed and actually moves up but Seneschal was at the front there and you know he's still Vernon when he goes here but look at Germay he's already made up a bit of a distance then he's just 
pretty much on the wheel of uh, Vernon, but he's because he's too far back in the corner, he's having to try a little bit harder. Good effort there from Garcia, but um, Milano just over on the right hand side there. But really nice win, and it's all about positioning and team there. And so many teams got it wrong. Uh, Germay came up there very quick, but going into that corner a little bit too far. But um, yeah, that was a hard effort there from uh, Germay, but perfectly executed from Sudal Quickstep. Three on January 2nd, 2023. Volta Valencia in stage one. He finished first. He let out Girmay waits and follows. Yeah, Girmay waits, waits and follows. Right, he's going to be can, but look at Girmay. He's hit the front. Girmay's flying away. Girmay's going all the way, and nobody can live with Biniam Girmay. Biniam Girmay was on another planet there strong in that sprint and he did a lot of it on his own we'll see the replay but everybody looked as if they were I saw like 200 100 300 and a bit meters to go when Binyam Girmay launched that sprint. There was a lot of hesitation amongst several teams. It's almost as if like... And Binyam Girmay, the first leader of the 74th edition of this historic race. And here's the overall points leader, Binyam, in the white jersey for the best young rider. There's Angel Cacera on the left hand side, the uh, organizer of the race. Four on August 3rd, 2023, Tio Reno Adriatico in stage three. He finished third. Big right hander coming up for you. They can't see the finish line just for the time being. Here comes Moschetti as well for 365. Gamay's on the case as well. Don't think he's not uh, out of this at all just yet for the time being, but Jasper Philipson gets the turn. He's got the lead out. Is he going to get there? Oh, this is magnificent. It's going to open up wide and handsomely, I think. Philipson's going very, very long. He's dragging. Nobody's going to get around Philipson, I don't think. 25 minutes to go. It's Philipson. Perfectly delivered. Absolutely brilliant stuff. They played the game perfectly. Alperson de Koenig and Jasper Philipson, once he got his nose to the front, there was no way he was being beaten out of the five on the 13th of june 2023 tour suisse in stage one he finished one those at the front at the moment we go to the front and it looks as though the sprint finally might well be launched it's what who is launching it what for not down the right hand side in the black but look at binyam get trying to come around him binyam get is there trying to hit the front get does hit the front it's get who's back to business get like a rocket to the line and binyam get with binny being back Absolutely sensational. And what a sprint from Bermai. <laughs> Where did that came from? Catch up with me. We love the shape, but today was amazing. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> surprising my, myself, just going crazy. Yeah. And if I'm right, you're the first Eritrean winning a stage here in Switzerland at the Tour de Suisse in front of that crowd. What does that mean to you? Yeah, that means a lot. I don't know. Just, yeah, I knew there is nobody winning the Tour of Suisse, but the first time to win in the front of my, uh, my people was amazing. I'm just so happy. A six on July 7, 2023, Tour de France, stage seven. He finished third. He was the first black African to win on the podium. Oh, but almost brought it, it back. Biniam Girmay looked good. It was between him and Phillips. Up. And Girmay took the 17 points. Phillips are content. I'm